Hi everyone and welcome back to Best Trucks. Today in this video we are going to check out the latest and most stable custom ROM which is based on Android Oreo for Redmi Note 4. So let's get started. If you are new here or haven't already subscribed yet then go down below hit the subscribe button and don't forget to enable notification by clicking the bell icon next to the subscribe button. This is by far one of the most stable Oreo ROMs available for Redmi Note 4. As you can see, this is based on Oreo, Android Oreo. Just double tap it multiple times and then press and hold. Now you can see this new Easter egg. I feel that this is one of the most coolest and best Easter egg available yet. And it's really fun to play with. As you can see, this is the Lineage OS. Lineage OS 15. And if we go to settings, we can see a bunch of customization options but it doesn't offer many options like what RR and other ROMs offer. Google have changed everything in Oreo like they made the settings a lot easier and easy for a new Android user to understand. Okay this double tap anywhere on the screen which also work. I usually disable it since we have fingerprint. Talking about the fingerprint, if you have a FPC sensor, then a fingerprint works with this ROM. Sadly, for good fix users, fingerprint doesn't work on any Oreo ROM yet. As you might already have noticed, this ROM do support HD calling or unchanged 4G LTE mode. You can also see the new icon, which is really cool on the notification bar. It is important to note that. HD calling is enabled on both sims. If you have two geo sim or you put uh, geo sim in second slot, then also the HD calling works. Let me show you something. This is a new feature available in Oreo ROMs. Suppose if you are watching a video in YouTube or browsers, then you can pull down the notification bar and click this option named PIP then it will be minimized to a small screen and video will be played in background if you are if you want to uh, play music then also this feature will work okay let's close that and we will see the multi window as you can see the multi window actually works and it's really great now let's check the camera this is a default camera app which comes pre-installed with this ROM and as you can see the camera quality is not bad let's say it's average now let's check video recording if you think camera quality is low or if you want to improve camera then you can download and install google camera mod Now let's check if this video is saved. Yeah, as you can see the video is saved. And if we go to camera settings, then you can see that the back camera can record up to 4K video and front camera can record up to 1080p video. This is a good feature which doesn't support in stock ROM. Also the front camera works fine. As you can see. Now my final verdicts about this ROM. I have been using this ROM for the past couple of days and I didn't face any issue. Talking about the battery, I got like 7 to 9 hours screen on time and it's sometimes more. And of course it varies depending upon your usage. This ROM offers a very good battery backup. Now talking about stability, and I can say that ROM is pretty stable and good for using as a daily driver. You will definitely like the app opening speed and the fastness of this ROM. If you have any doubts regarding this ROM or regarding this topic, you can ask them in the comment section below. I will try to answer them. And if you like this video, press the like button and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. And have a great day.